Hello, best friend, and uh, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, look no further, bitch, okay? Because you have found me. Um, Grab a snack and a drink. Happy Saturday, by the way. Um, Before we get into this tea, I want to remind you guys that I will be going live tomorrow Sunday at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you don't know what time that is, girl, just Google it. It'll tell you that. Just put like uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, my time, and then it'll tell you the time. Um, but anyways, girl, I hope to see you there. Let me know if you're going to join me in the comments and let's get started. So a big congratulations to... Um, so what's her name? Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. They have welcomed their beautiful, healthy baby boy, Rocky, to the world. Um, they She gave birth. Well, people, uh, people think she gave birth yesterday because Kylie and Travis were both spotted at, in the arriving to the hospital. Um, and Courtney Kardashian has had a very, very, very difficult pregnancy, a very scary pregnancy. And, um, you know, Courtney Kardashian has definitely become one of the most favored Kardashians because she's not taking place. She's not she's not taking part in, you know, like the, the whole Kardashian aesthetic, you know, that everything is picture perfect that everything has to be grand, that, you know, you have to spend so much freaking money here and there and there and there and everywhere. You know, she can't stand her sister, Kim. You know, they have very different opinions on life. And she's become a lot of people's new favorite. Um, I think it's very important to realize that, you know, when it comes to children and celebrities, I definitely see that a lot of people can get very cruel and um, not maybe specifically talking about Courtney, but there's a lot of celebrities who choose not to share their pregnancy. And, you know, I feel like if I were a celebrity and I was, you know, pregnant and stuff, I would not share it either because, you know, I've noticed something like while you talk about pop culture and you kind of like, you know, you, you, you know, I'm sort of living in pop culture, you definitely... Um, you definitely see that there are a lot of people out there who really, really, really don't wish well. And they really, really are cruel and mean. And, you know, I I think that keeping things a secret, because some people are criticizing, like, how come, you know, they haven't announced the birth of their baby yet, blah, blah, blah. I feel like you just never know what energy is being sent to you? You know what I mean? So I, especially after such a difficult pregnancy, I would be so quiet. I mean, one thing that I admired about Kylie Jenner when she had her baby is how quiet it was and how nobody knew until she gave birth and decided to post that video. And for example, like if we go back to like Hailey Bieber for a second, when there were rumors that she was pregnant, People were just so freaking mean and people were wishing ill will on this baby that A, did not exist and B, was not even born yet, you know, if it was real that she was pregnant. So, um, so yeah, that part that people are criticizing, Courtney for, I'm just like, girl, bye. Um, but I'm very happy for Courtney. I think it's such a beautiful thing to welcome a new little baby boy. Um, I know that her and Travis worked really hard on on having this baby and it took a lot of rounds of IVF and, and all of that. So I'm, I'm happy for her. And I just have to say, I'm just so happy for you. And Kim, Kim is just so embarrassing. But I, I just hate Travis. That's my Courtney bitch. But anyways, girl, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know she gave birth. Um, and also changing the subject, Clorox sent me a beautiful gift uh, gift box, like a huge box for spilling tea. And um, I wanted to share it with you guys in this video. So here is me unpacking it. I don't know if you guys, some of you saw it on Instagram, but I know some don't have Instagram. So I wanted to also share those news with you. Um, I'm so beyond grateful. Like this is, this is like my first brand, uh, like actually reaches out and sends me anything. And I was just so floored when, when they contacted me and asked for my address and stuff. I was like, what? Like Clorox? Like, huh? 
You know, like for me, like I always seen people unpack, you know, their, 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 um, their like PR boxes and stuff, but I never thought I would. So it's just so mind boggling, but this is the, the unboxing. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm so incredibly grateful because honestly, and I know this sounds so freaking corny, but like, um, like if you, if you guys weren't so freaking supportive and so sweet, I mean, I wouldn't get to experience certain things. So I'm, I'm truly thankful and grateful. And I hope you guys know how thankful I am and how humble I am uh, by your support and your love. So thank you so much. Here is me unpacking and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our Hangout Live. I love you all and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye. Best friend, look what was waiting for me at home. Clorox sent us a huge freaking gift that we are going to unpack together, you guys. Best friend, so before we get into it, Clorox, thank you so much for thinking about me. And I also went ahead and had my hubby unpack everything so it doesn't take too long, this video. But thank you guys so much. I'm gonna read the card and it says, Hi, Sebastian. Reality TV fans know this weekend will be a memorable and messy one. If there is one thing we know, it's that the messiest moments stem from flipped tables, Teresa, tear-soaked linens, and above all, spilling the tea. Uh, that's why we wanted to provide everything you need for the ultimate viewing tea party <sighs> to watch the drama unfold. Cheers to all the piping hot tea and messy moments to come. Your friends at Clark's. Thank you guys so much. This is so freaking sweet. Okay, so we're starting off with this amazing blanket. It feels so nice and warm. You know what I would imagine? This is how a hug from Andy Cohen would feel like, bitch. I swear, this just feels so good and warm. Ooh, Andy Daddy Cohen is so sexy. Okay, girl, let's continue with the tea kettle because, girl, you cannot spill tea without the tea kettle, honey. While Teresa's flipping tables, Kenya's gone with the wind fabulous. I'm gonna be spilling all the tea, honey. You know what this is, girl, but it's cold. So I'm guessing it's chocolate, but I have no idea, bitch. It says La Durie Paris. Girl, my French is giving Countess Luanne chic say la vie, okay? La Durie Paris, I love it. Okay, let's see what it, girl, it is macaroons. And look, one, two, three are missing. You see, I told my husband, you could unpack it, but don't, girl, mm -hmm. You know what they say, money cannot buy you class, okay? Okay, cheers. I'm gonna try the chocolate one. I'll look. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't think that was chocolate, bitch. Mmm. Oh. Next, we have a honey pot. I mean, this is giving very much Winnie the Pooh vibes. This is the cutest freaking honey pot ever. I love honey, bitch. But don't get it twisted, girl, because I can go from honey to sour in 2.5 seconds. Like my girl Kenya Moore said, don't come for me unless I send for you, girl. Okay. Now, we have this beautiful pink box and it's from Kate Spade. So let's see what it is. While we watch everything that's about to unfold with Kyle and Mauricio on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, girl, we can just be sipping the tea, bitch, okay? Ooh! Next, we have David's tea. <gasps> Look at the selection of the tea, girl. There is so many to choose from. Just like all the franchises, there's so many to choose from, honey, but we all have a favorite. What's your favorite Housewife franchise? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. And I do love me tea, honey. I love to spill it, drink it. I love to bathe in it, girl. I love it all. Best friend. I, mm -mm. This is this is this is where I draw the line, girl. This is where I draw the line. A candle, a flipping tables candle, girl. Listen, my my daughters. Listen, I I love me some Teresa, and when she flipped that table, girl, I was like, this is the queen. My daughters love 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 it all. Oh my god, flipping tables candle. Oh oh, and it smells so. Bougie! You know what? It smells rich. It smells problematic. It smells dramatic. It smells messy. It smells delicious, girl. It is honestly worth flipping a table for. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> okay. Now we have some 
mini dry eraser marker so we can count down and we can do a little checks on how many times Tamara and Heather make up, then break up, then have drama, or how many businesses Candy Burris has, or how many times Marisol says, ay, por favor, or how many times Vicky Gunvalson is going to try and get back on the OC, or how many times Meredith Marks is going to be like, husbands, or how many times Sheena Shea is going to sing good as gold. And last but not least, girl, we have we have Clorox disinfectant wipes, honey, because you got to clean this mess, girl. These ladies are so freaking messy, and I'm so here to spill all the tea. Clorox, girl, thank you so much for thinking about me. It is so freaking sweet. And you know, I love what they wrote. They said, because spilling the tea happens. Girl, Clorox, thank you so much for thinking about me. I am so incredibly grateful and so, 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 so thankful to be spilling the tea. And now I can clean up all the tea that I spill, girl. Yes! Let's not be tardy for the party and let's get on the Clorox vibe because, listen, it is giving chic c'est la vie, girl, okay?